Achieving the Future. Hi everyone, welcome to the latest episode of To the Future Devlog. Last time we introduced the automation of the harbor, the tech center, the logistics agency, and the transit center. If you haven't watched it, you can find the first two parts on the official PUBG Mobile YouTube channel. Don't forget to subscribe. Today we will continue to introduce the remaining two renovated areas, Sosnovka Military Base and Milta Power. Firstly, the Sosnovka Military Base. Previously, a military base in versions 1.5 Dynahex has transformed it into a security center used to keep Dynahex and Erangel safe. In actuality, the advancement of technology has allowed the Air Force, Navy, and Army to grow stronger. These three forces have merged into one at the military base and have become even more secretive. The design and construction of military bases will become more sophisticated. With the technological advancements, vertical takeoff and landings will become the norm. We speculate that future military bases will become more reliant on information, automated and consolidated going forward. Thus, we began a series of renovations to the Sosnovka military base. The security center in-game is currently still under renovation, so you can still see areas under construction with piles of construction materials that are yet to be completed. The command center. The core of the security center has been finished, and the entirety of Erangel Island is now under its protection. Additionally, we've also designed a landing pad, airport runways, warehouses, air defense facilities, and other areas. Though the current security center is still under renovation, you can look forward to how it will look once the renovation is done. It's sure to blow your mind. In terms of combat, we decided to keep combat similar to how players are used to in the original Sosnovka military base camp. The main battlefields will still be centered around the command center, but inside the enclosed building, we have added open areas and some rooms so your battle at the command center will be as much fun and intense as the team deathmatch. But please note that you will not be revived when you are eliminated here. In addition, the additions of interior elevators and automatic doors should broaden the variety of the overall gameplay and strategy. You can try different methods of fighting to confuse your enemies and win the battle. I really like the design of the elevator. It makes a ding noise when the elevator stops, which will alert other players on the same floor. Then, if you press the elevator button but choose to not ride it and sneak to the floor using the stairs instead, you may see the enemy panicking as they stare at the empty elevator. This should be interesting, said Zheng Tang. Finally, speaking of our energy center, I think our players will recall the two huge nuclear power towers in Erangel. As a landmark area of Erangel, Surely it's going to undergo a series of renovations as well. First of all, Milta Power was originally a nuclear power plant that powered Erangel. With that in mind, Dynahex started to improve its utility in extracting new energy resources more efficiently. So instead of the two towers, a huge energy tower has been constructed. However, compared with that of the other areas, the renovation progress of the energy center hasn't been that fast. Only 10% has been completed so far. As you can see, most of the buildings remain undemolished. The open space and complex terrain here creates an enclosed team firefight area. What form will this energy center take in the future? Stay tuned. Actually, the process of designing this future Erangel was really fun. It didn't feel like we were game developers, but we were more like a group of architects. We were constantly doing research and referring to academic papers and other relevant texts. We also asked some of our local colleagues to conduct field observations for us, and we consulted some professors and academic groups for their opinion on areas where we had questions. As Aaron Gell is currently still under construction, we've even been studying the standards of construction and renovation in each country. So you can see, even the areas that are being developed, the stacking of building materials, the construction of temporary offices, as well as the planning of temporary housing are all well organized. Even though it's not a real place, we managed to make our renovation guidelines in line with the national specification requirements of some countries. On the whole, we wanted to make a futuristic and plausible Erangel for all players while being objective about it. And that's our utmost goal, said Rick. We hope you like the new mode, Mission Ignition. And of course, in the future, we will bring you even bigger and more interesting events and gameplay. 
Keep your eyes peeled. That's all for this episode of To The Future Devlog. Thanks for tuning in. Don't forget to subscribe to our official YouTube channel. There will be even more interesting content in the future. See you next time.